You got some game, but the spin rod, you, know. you, you first, oh, you right. first. Feel on it. <laughs> Hold those sticks. Hold those sticks, man. Uh, this is going to be fun, man. Yeah, it's always know, we typically get to go fly fish. And it's always fun. It'll be fun to... Uh, I don't even care if we sit right here off the dock. Yeah. Reed will get mad. You can't fight his fish, but... It'll be fun to do something different. Yeah. Greg's been a, a friend of mine for 10 years, but we've gotten even closer over the last four or five years, and comes down and stays in our hood. All our families get together. I've, I've flown out and stayed with him multiple times in Louisiana. And he's just somebody that has the same passion I do for fishing. You know, when it gets a little breezy, it's easy to just go get some bait, cast a little bit. Now, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't bring Dini along because Dini's just one incredible fly angler and guide. But he's lacking a little bit of the spin game. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> So today was an easy way to, to get out with a buddy, pick at him a little bit, and um, let him get second place for the day. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a thing, bro. Ain't nothing but a thing. This is a perfect Ooh. day not to have to go out and throw a fly rod, so I can tell you that much. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> okay. Right. Come on, babies, give me that little, nice little shine. I'll tell you what, man, I do love throwing the net. Oh, here, oh, there they are. Brings me back to when I was younger. It's all I was doing, bait fishing. And I would sell pilchers for the sailfish tournaments. Oh, heard a flip. Heard them. I was out there swinging a 12 or a 14. Ooh, oh, yeah. Perfect size candy. We got bait, kid. Oh, yeah, we done. We done, brother. Today I had strict orders. Strict orders to do one thing if I'm gonna go out fishing, and that was to get snapper. And not just some snapper, a lot of snapper. My wife has invited my whole family and everybody over for this massive fish rod. That was the order from the chief herself, Catherine the Rascal, that I need to get some snappers, and I need to get it today, and not tomorrow, I can't go buy them, just go get them. It's breezy. Huh? Oh. It's blowing. Oh, I think I got something. Taking it. Oh. Nothing? What? Whiff. Cuda. That's why. Cuda, buddy. Yeah. What do you got? Snapper. Little snapper. Snap. He's cute. Can't make anything out of that, though. <laughs> oh. 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 I, oh, boy. I got lucky here. A nibble? I got lucky here. You got a nibble? I think it's probably going to be a cuda. It is a cuda. You got a cuda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh but he, he fought good. Whoops. Got him. Nice man. Right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Will that do it? Oh, yeah. He'll definitely do it. That'll do it. Come on in. I will never keep a red or a snook or anything like that, but a snapper, absolutely. Go ahead, drop it. Perfect. 
Oh, that's the one. That's the one. Oh, might be a Goliath, man. Oh, Goliath, baby. Came out and snacked on it. Hey, buddy. It's awesome. I hope you know that one. They're pretty, man. We've seen a really big comeback of them really? in the Keys. Tons. Yeah, on all these little branches. And after the freeze, there was a big decline in them. But now you're seeing them about this size and a little bit bigger. Right? And they are beautiful, huh? Looks like you just puked up a bunch of shrimp and all that. Look at that, huh? It's amazing that this fish right here will get to five, six, seven hundred pounds, you know? But you see all the power, right, with all the big fins and stuff? That's beautiful. Thanks, buddy. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode. Fish the legend. At Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, we're working to make sure that you'll find healthy populations of bonefish, tarpon, and permit at your favorite destinations. From the Florida Keys to Belize, from the Bahamas to Mexico. But we need your help to fight for clean water and healthy habitats. After all, if we don't conserve our flats fisheries, who will? Please support us today at BTT.org and help us bring science to the fight. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Florida Marine Tracks, clarity in navigation. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. And now, 60 seconds in the mill house. All right. Lock and load. Here we go. Al, it's so great to, to be with you, and thank you for allowing us to come into your home. It's a pleasure talking about things that I've loved and done in my lifetime. Did you have a favorite fish? My favorite fish always was tarpon. And why? I just love to see him jump out of the water. <laughs> and uh, I learned how to catch a tarpon when he's coming straight at me. And nobody ever showed me how to do it. I just accidentally figured this out by myself. How'd you do that? What was your success I'm gonna with that? I'm going to ask you a question. How did you do that? What I would do is if a fish was coming straight at me. And I ate the fly. And I ate the fly and kept coming. And he's right there. Yeah. You know what I would do? If I couldn't get tight. I'd strike him as hard as I could with a trout strike, straight up, just to get the point into his face just a little bit. And I can't seat the hook. I can't get it really tight, so it's not going to go to the bend. But at least I could get tight to the fish, and then I'd stomp on the boat. And when the fish would turn, I'd lower my rod and get it up against my belly and then set the hook. Well, I do basically the same thing. But when that fish eats the fly and I, he comes down on it, I jump off the front platform or a cooler or wherever I'm sitting or jump down in the middle of the boat. Bam, like that. And that fish turns right or turns left. And so it's the same thing. You scare it, the fish. But you scared fish. Yeah. And that fish, what he does, he closes his mouth hard. He's not spitting the fly out. Right. He's getting out of dodge. <laughs> right. And then when he turns, now you can get tight. And I hook him there every time. To watch this and other full-length episodes of the Millhouse podcast, go to YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. Dude, this creek's so cool. And all the jumbo snappers get up in there. We're going in the jungle. Come on in this bad boy. There they go. Wait. Got him. Got him, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Swamp pipe. Look at them all. Look at them all. <laughs> I 
off the <laughs> close quarter, huh? Just a little bit. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Go here, buddy. That's awesome. Oh, that is awesome. That was kind of fun. Whoa, and he's gone. And he's gone. Dude, that, that was, was awesome. awesome. Close quarters right there. That was cool. We get right in this corner here, man. Wait until you see all these things. Dude, I love this jungle stuff. This is awesome. Look at the tarpon over to your right. Dude, this is bad to the bone. Oh, wait until you see the size of these snappers, buddy. Right here is where we want to sit. I'm going to tie us up. You see some? Oh, dude, there's, there's poons they everywhere up? around the corner, yeah. He's about to get housed. Oh, boy. Oh, God, that, oh! Throw me a bait there. Yeah. Eat it, eat it, eat it, buddy. And he did. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Nice. That's another nice snapper. Tell you snapper. that. Ooh, that's like meat nice right there, dude. He'll keep. That's a meat. Oh, yeah. I'll take him all day. I'll take him all day. Oh, got a tarpon, baby. Oh, my God. Got a tarpon. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Uh, Come oh, on. Oh, he's oh. still on there. Oh. Come on, baby. Oh, there he is. Oh, you got him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> good, you got him. There he is. Nice. That's a good one right there, too. Hold on. I'll grab him. Woo! Tight quarters, baby. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, please do. He's gonna probably, he's still, I don't know if he's done, done. I don't know if he's done, done, buddy. Come here, sweetie. Got her? Got her. Oh, don't have her. Don't have her. Woo! <laughs> In your face. In the face. Let me see that thing. Oh. Got her? Yeah, man. Got Pretty her. fish. Oh, beautiful, man. Oh. That's so cool in these little creeks. Dude, that was right? awesome. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Come here, girl. Oh, sweet. That's a good one right there, too, bro. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, that's, an, that's a bonus, but I want those snappers, man. I want those snappers. Dude, this is so cool, man. Oh, right? What a cool little creek. So cool. Here, let me get you a hook. That'd be great. Hey, I just want to let you know. I'm ahead. I got one in the box. I got a tarpon too, a little bit bigger than yours. I'm yeah. still trying to figure out the math here because I thought I was. I don't, I don't understand how that works. It's, it's what's, <laughs> we, what's one keeper snapper each. How about that? <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That was cool. That's cool. I'm getting a bait. <laughs> I need a little creeper bait. That's why. A little candy snack. Just one that they're just gonna just suck it in like a little skittle. You just get whacked. I got a tarpon, baby. Look at you. I got a tarpon, baby. Ooh. Ooh. He's going up the river. He's going up the river. Oh, oh, oh God. Reliability. Yamaha is known for it. And it's something boaters value, because these days, few things are built to last. When we find something that is, we hold on to friendships, traditions, outboards, because every second on the water is sacred. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters choose Yamaha for the long run, for life, because reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Pathfinder Boats, Angler Driven. Free Fly Apparel, Comfort On, Adventure Out. Yeti Coolers, Built for the Wild. And by Smith, the experience is everything. Dude, I love how serious you get when you get into these situations. Yeah, I'm not man. even talking to you right now. <laughs> Not even talking with you. Oh. You just get whacked. Oh yeah, you just got stroked. Nice. Yep. Nice. Take him. <laughs> Take him again. He's back. I'm back. He's back. I'm back. Beautiful. Good size flays, man. Perfect for a nice little taco. That's crazy how they come out from underneath the roots. 
Yeah, there are a lot of the big ones hang yeah. right underneath, right? You yeah. know? And they just sit there and they wait to just, the pilcher to fall just perfect. But I'll take them. I love them. Enjoy them. <laughs> Who's up now, sucker? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. He's in his element. Got him. Nice. Another keeper, boy. That's a perfect eating fish right there, buddy. Snappers in the swamp of the mangroves and the cormorants are coming through. And they're just walking around and you never know what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, uh, ah, yeah. oh, come oh, tar on. Tarpon. Yeah, huh? they're, they're everywhere. I got a tarpon, baby. Hey, look at you. I got a tarpon, baby. Ooh. Ooh. He's going up the river. He's going up the river. He's going up. Creep out. Yeah, baby. Oh, this guy's in creeping, his element. I creeping up it. the river. I oh, love no. it. Oh, no. oh, boy. Here he is right here, baby. Awesome. Yeah, just get used to landing these fish. That's all I got to tell you. Just get used to landing these fish. Got him. Oh, man. Oh, got it? Nice. Nice. Beautiful little fish. So pretty, man. Look at it. So pristine. Not a scale missing, just gorgeous. It's the future of the fishery right there. That's right. Beautiful. It's amazing that fish is probably five years old. So cool. Push that thing off. Beautiful. See you, baby girl. Thank you very much. I gotta, play, I gotta play catch up, dude. Oh. I'm thinking the uh, the no split shot's the way to go. Uh, you do what you need to do. I mean, I'm, you, I'm trying to. You want to pay attention? I'm, I'm trying to learn from the pro over here, man. You want to pay attention? Pay attention. If you don't, you don't. But I ain't gonna give up that for free. <laughs> I will to tell you what I'm doing, but you have to subtract one of them snappers. That's it. I love Whew. it. Dude, I'm going to have a sweat because I've been catching so many. Man, come on. Come Get on. out of here. That's it. So Get many. Out of here. I'll tell you what, man. It's a lot of fun. Um, even though I may get my butt kicked uh, in the fish count, it's a lot of fun being on the boat with Jared and just seeing that passion of him going back to his childhood and th the guy knows so much around here it's incredible so you creep all the way up in that hole uh -huh. and then all and the, the, the no 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 right no right, right there in the yeah. middle yeah. you'll see tarpon going wild the second i met him I, I knew i was like that's that's my kind of guy man i'm like he's a dude's dude uh he's fishy he knows what he's talking about he's fun to be around no the whole thing's loaded but this side right here oh my god i told you dude <laughs> Our, our relationship has just grown. Our families hang out together, and uh, I'm, I'm very, very fortunate to have Jared as, as one of my very close friends. Right here, right here. Oh. So good, it's so good. Oh my God, they're gonna eat the camera. It's so good. <laughs> Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Traeger Grills. Experience the evolution of fire. Simred Chart Plotters. Go with confidence. Mako Reels. Built to last, built to stop. And by Shimano Fishing Products and G Loomis Rods. Feel connected. And now, a minute from our conservation partner, Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Research in the Bahamas and Belize has revealed the types of locations where bonefish spawn and the long migrations they take to get to these locations. We've documented bonefish traveling 70 miles from their home flat to a pre-spawning location. A pre-spawning location is where bonefish migrate to gather before heading offshore to spawn. At dusk, the bonefish school moves offshore where the spawning occurs. In the Bahamas, we track bonefish descending to more than 450 feet as part of the spawning process. After spawning, the bonefish return to their home flats. Bonefish spawn near full moons and sometimes new moons between October and April. Identifying and protecting bonefish pre-spawning and spawning sites is essential for the conservation of bonefish since spawning is one of the most vulnerable parts of the bonefish life cycle.
If we lose spawning locations, we lose future generations of bonefish. This is a priority for BTT in the Florida Keys as well. We're working with local fishing guides, anglers, and scientists to identify the pre-spawning and spawning locations. Once documented, we will work with resource management agencies to get these areas protected from habitat damage, boat traffic, and even fishing pressure that would disrupt the spawning process. If you see the bonefish aggregations or other signs of spawning, please let us know by clicking report tagging data link at btt.org. To learn more, visit btt.org. So here's some tarpon coming. Keep it right there. Keep it down. It's so good. <laughs> oh, got tarpon. You got him. Oh, God. Oh, he's... Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Nice snap. Oh, I got a tarpon, bro. Got him right there. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That'll eat. That'll eat. <laughs> That'll eat. Double header. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tarpon again. Got him. <laughs> Come on, baby. Not that way. Oh, you did. Got him out. Got him out. I got him out. Oh. Per out. Perfect. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, no. oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That's funny. The secret spot? Yeah, no one knows about this one. Well, while you're rigging, I'm slinging. I know how you roll, dude. Oh, I just got picked up. Oh, again. <sighs> oh, that's a good one there. Oh, Greg. That's a stud. Ain't nothing but a thing back here, boy. Oh, oh. Ah, I like how you're back there by the live well. You know, there's two people in a, in a tribe, Greg. There's the hunters and there's the gatherers, okay? <laughs> and I know what one I'm at. <laughs> hunters and the gatherers. You're getting the berry for the fruit salad. I'm putting meat in the box. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Here it comes, he's gonna pop it. Oh, what he did. Open that cooler for me, bro. Mm -mm. You, no, no? You, you are in control of your own okay. fish, right. my friend. All right. Oh, he just ate it. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. <laughs> Got him, man. <laughs> Another nice one, man. Hey, this is what we're trying to catch this one, let you know. I'm not sure if you understood that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on out. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. All right, Greg, I'm going to show you again how it's done. Five, four, three, two, one. I can't two, even keep my bail. One. Got great. him. I can't even keep my bait. Got him, baby. Oh, man. Woo. Another nice Stud, one. Stud, dude. Hey, are we fish in the oh. same spot? Shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. You got a meat. You do. You got a meat. I got a snook. 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 Oh, there's another one. Wait, wait. Oh, got him. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Beautiful, buddy. Ready. Here he comes. Here he comes. Right underneath it. Popped him. Got him. <laughs> oh my god! Got him! Got him, baby! Go! Oh. Woo! Oh, good one? Oh yeah. That's a good one, buddy. That's a good one. They're so cool, man. They're such a cool fish. See ya. Got one. Nice snapper. Nice. If we can get this one in, man, this would be our limit. Fish fry. Fish Coming in fry, hot. baby! That's a good one right there, man. That's Great one to end the day on, brother. Good job, man. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> Oh!